California. It is the state that almost everyone wants to be in, whether it's Apple, Amazon, Google, all of the big headquarters are there. And needless to say, it is almost everyone's dream to work in these places. The easiest way to do that is to actually study in that state and then probably get a career opportunity in these big companies. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at California-based universities, not just one, but six different universities, three that have a great acceptance rate and provide some really low tuition fee, and three that are very competitive in nature and offer some great financial aid options to international students. Let's begin. The first one on our list is Stanford University. Now there's gonna be no surprise with this one because it is the best university in the world. Although it's not an Ivy League, it is at par with the best professors, teaching methods, research opportunities, and students that basically graduate from Stanford get top-notch career prospects as well. So this university has an acceptance rate of 3.9%, which makes it super competitive. But being need blind, it does offer financial aid to international students. And typical GPAs of students that actually get into Stanford are like 3.9. So you have to be super smart. Your profile needs to stand out and you have to do some really great things to actually get into Stanford. For the tuition fee, we are looking at roughly $60,000 per year. But because Stanford does offer financial aid to international students, this can be lowered. The second one on our list is California Institute of Technology, otherwise known as Caltech University. Now, this is a very competitive university. It's smaller in size, which means that your class sizes will be smaller as well, making it extremely competitive. The acceptance rate is 2.7%, which is even lower than MIT as well as Stanford. So students that go here have outstanding GPAs. They have great SAT and ACT scores, even though the university is test optional and they have a splendid profile as well. Now, some of the majors that Caltech is really well known for include mechanical engineering, computer science, and other engineering programs. The tuition fee is roughly $60,000, which is at par with kind of like the rate that's currently going on for almost all universities in the US. And they do offer financial aid to international students. Just remember that they are need aware. So they will factor this in while making a decision on whether to accept you or not. Now, if you're coming to the US, the one thing that you will definitely need is a US SIM card. And thanks to Mint Mobile for being the partner of today's video. So when you land in the US, you don't have to run to these stores that they see right in front of their eyes where they're, you know, charging 50 or $60 per month just for a phone plan. Now this is outrageous. Phone plans are not supposed to be that expensive. And this cost, because it's every month, it can get really, really expensive, especially if you are an international student. So there's an option, Mint Mobile, where you can get your phone plan as low as $15 per month, which offers unlimited talks, unlimited texts, 5G of unlimited data, and basically everything that you need as an international student at an affordable price. Now, if you need a physical SIM, they will ship it to you for free. And if you need an eSIM, it'll be available for use right away. So the link is gonna be in the description. You guys can sign up to get the phone plan as low as $15 per month. The third one on our list is UC Berkeley. Now, out of all 10 UCs, in my opinion, this is number one on the list. And the biggest reason being they put a lot of emphasis on projects and real life applications. So you'll be working on some cutting edge technology no matter which major you select. The acceptance rate for UC Berkeley is 10 to 11%. And last year, out of the 130,000 students that applied, just 15,000 of those got in. So you're looking at an average GPA of 3.9 and above to actually be considered and have a good chance of securing a spot at UC Berkeley. So UC Berkeley is test free, which is probably the first time you're hearing this term. And it's new, not a lot of colleges use it, which basically means that they do not consider SAT or ACT scores whatsoever. They put all of their emphasis on high school exams. So for example, if you're in India, your emphasis will be put on your board exams to take a look at how well you're able to perform academically. The only instance where UC Berkeley will consider SAT or ACT scores is if you want to get a credit later on for, for, for a certain subject. But that kind of comes into picture when you're already in college. As far as your college applications are considered, you don't have to worry about standardized testing at all. Now the tuition fee is $16,000, but before you get happy listening to this number, 
there is a surcharge of $34,000 if you are an international student. So that makes the tuition fee, you know, pretty big number. And unfortunately, UC Berkeley does not offer any financial aid to international student. And this is in line with all of the other UCs. So they very clearly mention all 10 of them that there are no financial aid offered. In some cases, merit scholarships will be offered. But just to give you a rough idea, profiles that receive merit scholarship have like a 90% score in their board exams. They've taken more than 10 AP exams where they've scored fours and five, won national, international, you know, honors and have some great extracurricular activities within their Common App profile. So very, very few students, I'd say less than 2% actually get these merit scholarships. So it is very competitive and pretty expensive as well. But some other like honorable mentions that I'd also like to include here include UCLA, which is again a close second with UC Berkeley. Um, USC, University of Southern California is a great place to be as well. A lot of opportunities, huge campus, a lot of places where you can get involved in. UC San Diego as well as UC Davis are some great options as well. The next three universities that we're gonna take a look at will have relatively lower tuition fee. So let's talk about San Jose State University. Now this is located in San Jose, California, which which is a great place to be because there are so many different headquarters for companies. My dad lives there and I know the place in and out. There are so many opportunities, whether you're in the medical field, software engineering, computer science, mechanical engineering. So being in that area gives you a lot of prospects to actually go and get yourself involved in valuable research. Now San Jose State is known for majors such as communication, business, engineering, and many more. The tuition fee that we're looking at is roughly between twenty dollars to $30,000 per year. And although they don't offer financial aid to international students, there are some great merit scholarships that are offered that you guys can explore. The fifth one on our list is California State University. Now this university has an acceptance rate of 90% and it's home to a lot of international students, especially Indian students. Now in general, it's known for majors such as engineering, business as well as computer science and the biggest advantage here is that the tuition fee is again somewhere between 20 to 30 thousand dollars depending on the number of credits that you take as well as the major that you apply to although there are no financial aid or scholarships available this lower amount of tuition fee definitely makes up for the fact that you get to study in a place like la or even Fullerton, which is, you know, right in this middle of Silicon Valley. The last one on our list is California Polytech Institute or Cal Poly for short. The acceptance rate is about 30% and students that get in typically have a GPA of 2.5 or higher. So it's very much within reach for majority of the population that students are actually applying for. The tuition fee is about $30,000 per year and they don't offer any financial aid. But again, remember that the tuition fee itself is at such a lower amount compared to other universities in California that I think this is definitely worth it. Now some honorable mentions for everyone who's a California fanboy or fangirl. Um, I would say UC Merced and UC Santa Barbara are great schools, but remember that there are limited, almost no financial aid options. So they do have a bit of a pricey tag associated with them. Other colleges that you guys can explore include De Anza Community College, where you can potentially transfer from the community college then to like a, a UC level university to help save on costs, which is, you know, I've, I've discussed this in another video, so you guys can watch that if you haven't already. But in general, I know that the last three colleges that I spoke about didn't really have too much of scholarships and financial aids associated with them. And the reason being, they have a tuition fee that's already almost half of what most colleges in the US are charging. So that combined with the reason that because you're studying in California, Silicon Valley, your job prospects are gonna be so much higher. You're looking at a job close to $100,000 or more right after you graduate from college. And if you're in a major like computer science and you're doing well in college, you can really aim for those extremely high paying jobs. So the you know return on investment and that entire analysis that a lot of like students, especially international students like to do, it's great when you're looking at these colleges in California. So we've looked at Texas, we've looked at California as a state. If you guys want me to make a similar video for New York City, New Jersey, let's get this video to 500 likes and I'll kind of explore that entire state as well. Now like the video, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.